Let us pray. Eternal God, open our minds to your word. Enlighten us. So that we listen and hear, we may go out into the field and do what is your work. The passage in Matthew 13, 1 through 13, the parable of the sower, and along with its explanation, is Jesus' response to events in chapter Matthew chapter 12. So the passage of chapter 13, its context comes from Matthew chapter 12. In Matthew chapter 12, opposition to Jesus has intensified. The, Par the Pharisees now debate Jesus' conditions and his circumstances, his ministry. They plot his death. They want him dead. But then there is this irony. Matthew tells us that Isaiah has been fulfilled. And he includes this statement. And in his name, the Gentiles have hope. The Jewish leaders want Jesus dead, but at the same time, he is the hope of the Gentiles. Jesus' mission to the house of Israel has failed. The Pharisees, Jesus, in the same company as the devil or Beelzebub. He indicates that, and these Pharisees are against me. And so by attributing his power to Beelzebub and not to the Holy Spirit, have these Pharisees committed the unforgivable sin. They are not hearing the good, bearing the good fruits because they are bad trees, a brood of vipers. They are on the evil path, this generation of vipers who only want to see signs. So why do people not believe Jesus? How can God's son meet such a fate? And in this explanation, comes what this passage is all about. And we are to read the parable as an answer to such questions that has been raised, as I said, in chapter 12. And he told them stories in parable. Why is it that Jesus used stories when he wants to explain the circumstances or what the kingdom of God is all about. Throughout the history of the Jews, there were always stories. There are many stories in the Old Testament, and it is historical. In times of these things that if you go out throughout scriptures, the Old Testament particularly, you will see a lot of parables exist, the stories, which are easy to understand. Hence, among those parables in the Old Testament is this familiar one, which comes out of the book of Samuel chapter 2, or 2 Samuel chapter 12, 1 to 7. In that story, David had coveted the wife of Uriah, and in order to gain possession of her, he, David, arranged for Uriah to be sent to his death. 
for sometimes David had forgotten all about what he had done. So it was necessary for David to be reminded of the enormity of his sin. So Nathan the priest comes to David and tells him this simple story. There was a certain, there in a certain city were two men. One is a rich man in abundance of cattle and all kinds of riches. The other was a poor man who owned just one ewe lamb, which was so dear to him that it was like a family member. A friend came to visit the rich man, and instead of taking one of his abundant herds, he goes and takes this poor man, prized possession, killed it as a meal for his friend. When David hears the story, he is furious, he's angry. And he said, who is this person? Who is this man? He should die and he will die. But before he dies, he must make restitution for what he has done because he did not show pity. And then Nathan says to David, you are the man. Simple story. 